Right, I've not seen this one done before. Here's the inductor thief, which is basically a dual thief, but I've got an inductor in place of a pot or a resistor. No capacitors either. And here is the light itself. There we have the 100 UH inductor, which is which goes where normally a resistor or a pot would go to the base. 1.5 volt battery. The coil is on a yellow uh, toroid, which I thought had low permeability, but it seemed to work out all right. And uh, basically, I've just tapped at three turns on about 20 gauge, and there's 12 turns on the other side, and there's 500 turns of 30 gauge that make up the secondary. The transistor is a C5198. So, shall we run it? And there we are. So I have no idea what the amp drawer is because the meter kept throwing up random numbers. But that's a two and a half watt bulb. I'll turn the light off and uh, restart the video so you can see what brightness there is. There we are. And that's quite a fair brightness really I think. And one AA. Right, on to the next stuff. Uh, here are the two going, this is the rejuvenated cell. I put a few more of the Epsom salts in the top because the cap knocked it off and they all fell out the top anyway. But it's, it's still running fine, no more water added. And then there's the seashell, still going nicely. Um, now, oh yeah, this is uh, the second of the alum cells and uh, it still runs a jewel thief fine. I should have left that on actually. Oh, we'll do now. And here we have the second one. This is the one that's got the water in it, or at least the uh, the alum and rainwater from the other one, just directly poured in. So this one's still got rainwater in it. It's keeping a fair amount of power uh, because there we've got a motor there with the propeller on it, and I'll connect up. And there we are, spinning away. So that one's keeping quite an amount of power. Okay, thanks for watching.